Hello good day viewers, still on coordinate geometry, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to convert the equation of a cycle from standard form to general form. This is the equation of a cycle in standard form while this is the general form. We are going to learn how to convert this equation into this one. So let me start by writing the equation in standard form. We have x minus a whole squared plus y minus b all squared and this is equal to r squared whenever you are given equation like this in standard form it is always very simple to construct because all you have to do is to find or locate the center on the plane then you should measure the radius all around the cycle so what is the center the center has the coordinate a comma b while the radius is just r so this is why it is very simple just locate the center the major the radius all around the cycle first of all let us expand it if we expand the left hand side which is x minus a whole squared take the first term x you square that minus because of that negative sign two times the first term times the second term we have 2ax then plus a squared then plus the second bracket we have y squared minus 2by plus b squared and we can bring r squared inside it is going to become negative r squared the whole of this equal to zero if you observe we have some constants those terms that do not contain either y or x we have one here we have one and we have the other one here so now let us bring them together in the end we have x squared minus 2ax plus y squared minus 2by then the constants we have a squared plus b squared minus r squared the whole of this equal to zero i'm going to do another substitution here by letting a to be equal to negative f and b to be equal to negative g so wherever we have a we are going to replace it with negative f and b with negative g so our equation becomes x squared you see we have minus here but a is now negative f those two minus will transform to positive sign right so we have plus 2 fx then plus y squared plus again because b is negative g 2 g y plus again a is negative f if you square that you're going to get f squared because negative squared is positive then plus g squared because b is negative g if you square that you're going to get positive g squared then we have minus r squared the whole of this equal to zero now let me substitute for the last time because all of these are constants i would like to let them to be equal to c so let c be equal to f squared plus g squared minus r squared so finally we have our equation in general form to be x squared plus 2fx plus y squared plus 2gy then plus c the whole of this equal to zero so now we have just expressed our equation from standard form to general form which is this the question is how can we locate or determine the center and radius of this equation we don't have problem with center because we know that a and b are said to be the center which we are going to replace with negative f and negative g so the center has the coordinate negative f and negative g so what about the radius the radius can be obtained from this equation look at it here so by just making r the subject from that equation so if we take r squared backward and take c to the other side their signs will switch therefore r which is the radius is equal to the square root of what f squared plus g squared then minus c so this is our equation in general form this is the center of that equation while this is the radius as simple as that subsequently we are going to learn how to convert the equation of a cycle from general form to standard form thank you for watching do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more exciting videos bye bye